Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah Guys, I left my laptop at work today and it was an absolute mission to go and get it Jazakallahu khair to uh, There were so many people that mashallah made it happen that I was able to go and get it done because I really wanted to get this video out to you guys <laughs> Unfortunately and sadly when people go to university they f they have to put their morals they wanting to do good for society to the side and they got to prioritize their grades keeping the professors happy and just towing the line Exactly I had a girlfriend low it low I'm philosophizing you yeah. And we see this where the University of Bristol fired Professor David Miller why? because he criticised Israel yeah that's that's all he did and he got fired the petition uh, you know we started it here on this channel and we're still pushing it to get him his job back and also I think it's in Malaysia or Indonesia yeah if you're sending your students to Bristol please tell your higher ups to get them to send them elsewhere yeah Bristol needs to know that majority are in favor of Palestine and you cannot be supporting Israel's crimes and just get away with it but today the university is different it's LSE here in London and what the students did was they protested that's all they did they protested because the Israeli ambassador to the UK Zippy Hatovi came I'll tell you why people were so frustrated and they were protesting yeah number one she goes to marches that supports extremists in the protest they're calling for the burning of Palestinian villages and she's there like hello uh, number two she calls a Nakba the forced expulsion of Palestinians 800,000 Palestinians a lie that's that's I'm sorry that's a historical fact number three she claims there's no quote-unquote Palestinian people number four she called for Israel to invade Jordan and Syria number five she supports the Temple Institute which calls for the destruction of Masjid al-Aqsa so she is clearly a messed up individual yeah but <laughs> the only one that can match her messed upness he cannot read is Sajid Javed and Preeti Patel yeah Sajid Javed saying you need to learn your history mate there's no room for anti-semitism what anti-semitism bruv criticizing Israel is not anti-semitism and Preeti Patel peddling the same narrative yeah look let me give you a nice little analogy yeah criticizing Saudi Arabia is not Islamophobia even though they have Islam's holiest of sites because Saudi is not Islam now likewise criticizing Israel is not anti-semitism even though they have Israel's holy sites there but Israel is not Judaism and I feel for the honest Jewish people and I see them on Twitter trying to raise their voices and saying you know what she's on the far right and she needs to be called out for it however you got Zionists that are hijacking their religion claiming anyone that says anything about Israel is anti-semitic and this is a dangerous precedent yeah because you are linking an entire faith to something that's transient and let's deal with the facts yeah they're saying oh threats were made and this and that look she went there her event didn't get cancelled she spoke for her complete duration she left unscathed and unharmed she got into a car which again was unharmed what's the issue here and no one was arrested mate so if no one's arrested then how can you make all these accusations you have to admit that the police standing there were completely and utterly useless people were gathered and they were saying boo shame on you and people are like, oh, this is disgusting <laughs> amount of MPs that have come out condemning this it, I'm actually blown away because we didn't get the same these same individuals coming out for Palestine in fact I challenge you to find me quotes where they are defending Palestine and criticizing Israel and then we wonder why people don't take you lot 
Sajid Javed, Priti Patel, Conservative Party, seriously, mate. Or even when you guys talk about human rights. What human rights, bro? What, Palestinians don't have human rights? In Kashmir, they don't have uh, human rights? East Turkestan, they don't have human rights? No, 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 no. Only where it meets your national interest. Let me be absolutely clear. We have acted because it is in our national interest. Yeah. To do so. I mean, Mark Curtis said this in his book, Secret Affairs. He said, when I looked at the declassified documents, yeah, when they used to be declassified, he said there was no mention of human rights and equal opportunities and all this sort of stuff. Yeah, he said this is a new phenomenon used to justify foreign occupation, frankly. Yeah, demonstrating. Now they can't even demonstrate. What on earth is going on? What happened to freedom of speech? Has it run out of batteries? Huh? Does it need to be charged up? Ridiculous, mate. But I did want to make this video for the students. Yeah, much love and it makes me so happy to hear people with a spine. I see so many people going grammar school and this university and that university, but then they just work for a blue chip company, live in their fancy house and just their wealth just circulates in their home. That's pretty much it. A life that's not spent helping people is a life wasted. Wow. So respect to the students that are putting, I mean 27k in debt. Yeah, and they're still risking their position in the university and standing up for causes like this. Amazing, mashallah, amazing, fantastic. We need people like this. Somebody who stands for nothing will fall for anything. And that's what we're seeing. Millions if not billions of people, spineless, yeah, consuming, artificial, plugged in. They're literally plugged into the matrix, mate. Yeah, at home they got Netflix, artificial pumped with artificial foods and then artificial uh, mood elevators, they're in a box, then they go in a car which is a box, yeah, with artificial air coming out of the aircon or the heater or whatnot, then they go into a slightly bigger box and then in that big box, their workplace, there's a smaller box for them and then they, you know, they're a cog in the machine. So for these kids to realize that and transcend that box, those boundaries for a just cause is phenomenal. Yeah, and keep it up guys, you have our full support. And let's leave it there until next time. Assalamu alaikum.